I'm Philippe Ganshan, I'm Adjunct Professor of Environmental Health at Harvard School of Public Health. Lead is present on this planet and we're all exposed to lead every day, but it's also a very useful metal and it comes uh, into the environment from various industrial uses and from various kinds of pollution. Many years ago, we used lead as an octane booster in gasoline and that lead is still sitting all over in the environment. We have also used lead as a pigment in paint and many houses are full of that old paint and therefore we're exposed to lead every day and some of that lead is actually coming from old uses. There are thousands of publications on lead toxicity. The European Commission asked its specialty agency called the European Food Safety Authority to review all of that documentation and advise should something be done about lead because we already have exposure limits. We, we have limits for how much lead can be present in drinking water, how much uh, lead can be in toys, for example. And we found that the current limit, which has been fixed by the World Health Organization, the WHO, is way, way too high. It is not possible to define a safe level for this metal, simply because it is toxic, even at these exposures that we are all exposed to every day. So we reported that back to the uh, European Commission and all of those limits have to be revised downwards and they may decrease by a factor of perhaps 10. In this case, we have allowed a whole generation of children to be exposed to lead with effects on their brain development and only after all of these years and thousands of publications have we finally concluded we got to do something about this. This is not acceptable in modern society. We have an obligation to the population, in particular to the next generation. We should control pollution ahead of time and not wait until decades later we have finally documented beyond doubt that children are damaged uh, because of this pollution.